are the auctions and when, okay? So every single Friday in the state of Washington, there's an auction at 10 a.m. It doesn't matter whether I'm in King, Pierce, Snohomish, Skagit County, doesn't matter where. If I could look down at the state of Washington, every single Friday at 10 a.m., there's going to be an auction that starts. And it's going to end in one hour or six hours, and they're not going to stop until they finish selling those. In King County, we have two auctions. We have one at 4th and James at the administrative building, and we have one over in Bellevue. And we're going to weekly tell you which properties are going and where. The second question that's asked, and this is one of the big ones, is how in the world do I track through hundreds of foreclosures? So this week alone in King County, there's 437 foreclosures going this week. So even the guys, we call them the good old boys, or the people that are already good at this, it used to be that this wasn't that tough of a business to do. Now it's weird, even if I knew how to do the real estate, knew the foreclosures, I had the money, how in the world do I track through 437 properties in one week? They can't. And that's the reason why they need a system like ours. That streamlines the process. It's going to get them down to the top 30 to invest every single week. The next question is, which home should I target? Now this is one that I kind of have fun with because as we've gone around the room here tonight, I've asked you guys, some of you want to buy a property that you're going to live in. Some of you guys are going to buy properties you're going to flip, and some of you are going to buy properties you're going to keep as rentals. This is one of the biggest questions is, which home should I target? Well, everybody buys what they know and what they're used to. But strangely enough, if I'm going to flip properties right now, I want to buy in North King County. And the reason I want to is because everything north of I-90 around Green Lake, Ravenna, Ballard, Magnolia has less than a two and a half months supply. So if I'm going to buy, fix, and flip, I want to be in those areas. I want to be in the areas that are going to have a fast turnover. South King County has a little bit more inventory right now. I still want to buy and flip properties there. I can just expect a longer market time. So when I say which home should I target, strangely, if I'm going to buy and hold properties, I love South King County. And the reason why is because I can buy a four bedroom, three bath, 2,200 square foot house that's less than 15 years old, and I can buy it for the low 200s that's worth the low to mid 300s. I can't buy that in Ballard. I can't buy that in Green Lake because a little bungalow in Green Lake is still $400,000. So this is a really big part when you guys are getting started into foreclosures is which home should I target? There's good areas that are good to buy and hold and there's good areas that are good to buy and flip. If you're going to live in it, then it's just a matter of where you want to live. Okay? So that's what we're going to talk a little bit about. What are they worth in the marketplace? Everybody on our team, whether they are Pierce County, Snohomish, whether they're Skagit, whether they're Kitsap, all of our team are licensed agents and they've been licensed agents for a long time. Now, I've been with Windermere Real Estate for 20 years and my job is to make sure that all the values are accurate and that our team is telling you what we think they're worth in the marketplace based off of a comparative market analysis. So we take a quarter mile radius of every property and we do the actives, pennings, and solds that have sold in the last 60 days. In the good old days, we used to be able to do six months, but right now you really have to stay on the market and you have to know what's selling in the last 60 days. So when I say, what are they worth in today's marketplace? And you say, well, Christopher, we want to buy foreclosures and we heard that you can get them for us for 70 cents on the dollar. 70% of what? 70% of today's fair market value. So that's our job is to tell you what they're worth in the marketplace. Um, how do I know fix-up costs? We're going to put you in touch with contractors, help you fix them up in there. So anyway, these are a lot of the common questions that come up and we're going to kind of go through these throughout the evening.